When Honda Aircraft flew its prototype Honda Jet on December 3, 2003, it achieved a significant step in aviation history. And it wasn't just that it was almost exactly 100 years after the Wright brothers first took to the skies. The first flight of the Honda Jet represented a truly new clean sheet, very light jet design by Honda's new aviation division. And it was powered by turbofan engines designed and manufactured by Honda's own engineering team. While there were engines in the required power range already available to get the maximum efficiency and meet Honda Aircraft's ambitious design goals, it was necessary to create a modern new engine. It is a given in this industry that designing and producing a new jet powered by new engines is a huge risk. But Honda Aircraft and its founder, Michimasa Fujino, were willing to take that risk and prove to the world that his unique over-the-wing engine mount design performed better than traditional business jets of similar sizes. And indeed, this proved to be true, both in early wind tunnel testing and once the prototype Honda jet and its Honda-built HF-118 engines took to the skies. Designing a new engine is challenging enough, but manufacturing turbine engines, however, is another huge step. Honda elected to partner with an experienced engine manufacturer, GE Aviation, to bring the more powerful HF120 to market. The two companies formed a 50-50 joint venture called GE Honda Aero Engines. This not only resulted in the creation of a new family of turbine engines available to any aircraft manufacturer, but also tapped GE's experience to improve on the original design. GE also had far more experience in engine manufacturing, as well as aftermarket support for this kind of product. One of the unique features of the HF120 includes higher thrust at altitude, which is important for business jets that spend a lot of time in the upper flight levels and wasn't always available in older engines of this size. This greater thrust is made possible by the wide cord Blisk type fan with 3D compound swept blades that enable a higher fan pressure ratio. The HF120 features a high pressure ratio core, which is facilitated by the design of the compressor and its titanium alloy construction, enabling the engine to minimize thrust loss during climb. The HF120 specific fuel consumption is relatively low, and this is because of the laser drilled multi-hole combustor design, which provides low pressure drop across the combustor and efficiently transfers compressor energy to the turbine. And air blast fuel nozzles provide better fuel atomization which yields better fuel to air combustion. Just a few miles away from Honda Aircraft's headquarters campus in Greensboro, North Carolina, Honda and GE set up their new GE Honda Aero Engines factory in Burlington, North Carolina. The actual cutting of metal, welding, and other intensive manufacturing processes for extremely high tolerance parts and components is done in other GE and supplier facilities. The Burlington site is where all these materials come together for assembly into whole engines and to be run in a test cell. That's not to say that there isn't a demand for high levels of precision at every step of the process. The Burlington facility is a testament to cleanliness and organization and might double for a watch factory, but obviously on a larger scale. Because the pre-assembled modules are shipped to Burlington, it doesn't take a large crew to complete final assembly of the engines. Well, here's an example of a kit cart that's used for an engine assembly build. And the kit cart is pre-shadowed for engine ser by engine serial number. And you can see that the parts are kitted down to the nut, bolt, and washer for every engine assembly. And this represents the engine serial number, and then it also represents the actual build sequence of the engine. So this represents the operational sequence, and the parts are shadowed and kitted per operational sequence for the build for the main engine assembly. All right, so here's examples of subassembled modules that have been pre-built for this specific engine serial number, which is 483. So these modules will help the build of the core process to be more efficient. When the core process starts, it starts with the intermediate case. And this intermediate case is also pre-built, and then it'll transfer to the build stand. And then the build stand, once that's started, these modules will be incorporated into the build process to create the core of the engine. It's been pushed out on the flat cart, as you can see. And the uh, associates are basically preparing the engine. They're putting mounts on the engine. And then they'll actually put the engine and install it into what's called an adapter cart. And this adapter cart will then be uh, brought into the cell as kind of a quick connect application when it goes into the cell to start testing. And another preparation that they do is they put the bow, bow mouth on as well, which that's part of the uh, preparation. 
The test cell presently allows for just one engine to be run at a time, and this limits the capacity of the Burlington facility, but there is room for growth and more cells can be added as demand grows. The 2,095 pound thrust HF120 is the first in a family of turbine engines, and GE Honda Aero could design versions with 3,000 to 4,000 pounds of thrust. These engines could propel new and more efficient jets to serve the personal flyer and business aircraft owners and operators. And perhaps we'll see GE Honda Aero engines in use by other aircraft manufacturers in the future.